Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to ping a website or perform a ping test on your computer. So if you want to check the quality of your internet connection to any particular website, it's pretty easy to perform a ping test. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best result, should go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now we are going to have, now go ahead and type in ping, P-I-N-G, and then do a space. Type in the website you're trying to ping here. So let's just say google.com in our example. Hit enter. It should start pinging the website if it's successful here. Lost should say 0%. That's what you want to see here. The time it took to connect should be listed here as well. You can also see how many packets were sent and received, and as well as how long it took to go and connect the server and to get the server to respond back. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. And if you want to just ping Google as well, you can also just do ping space 8.8.8.8. Again, same thing as Google here. It, again, it's the same server as Google. Google owns this DNS server here. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. Give you guys a couple different scenarios there. So there's a few different error messages you may receive here, such as request timeout, which means the test took longer than the default 4,000 milliseconds. And you can see everything's measured in milliseconds here. So generally, this could mean that there is an issue with your network or there's a lot of traffic going to that website. You may also have an unknown host error, which means the host name is not recognized. And you want to make sure that the domain name or host name is typed in correctly. You may also see something that says TTL expired in transit, which means now how many hoops your packets were allowed to make before they were discarded. So if you're coming across this error message, it might mean that you've made the maximum number of allowable paths or hoops around. You may also receive a general failure error, which means your computer does not have the proper TCP slash IP settings, or there may be an issue with your local area network or LAN adapter. And finally, there was one further error message you may receive, which is destination is unreachable, which means there's no route to the destination. And if it says that the reply from, whatever the website name is here, destination host unreachable, it means that there is a routing problem at the remote router and not with the destination itself. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.